medical practice is the other way around. We take the sick fish to the doctor. It gets treated, and we put the fish back into the same polluted environment. We treat most of the symptoms, and we continue to let our cells live in a polluted environment. To study health, we need to study the healthy environment. Since everything about health happens at the cellular level, let's delve deeper into the subject. Cells communicate with pulses of electricity at a micromolecular level. All cells need electromagnetic charges to function as healthy cells. Our entire human body is working on electromagnetism. What makes electrical power happen to a healthy cell is the delicate balance of our body's biochemistry. Our body maintains biochemistry at the cellular level with positive and negative charges. Chemistry makes the environment possible for electricity to be there. Anything that messes up the electrical balance is messing up the body's cells, messing up your organs, and messing up your health. The smallest building blocks of life, atoms and molecules, are micromagnets with a plus and minus pole, comparable to the Earth's poles or comparable to a battery cell. What determines the biochemistry and the balance of a healthy cell is the acid-alkaline balance. In an alkaline environment, the red blood cells swim faster and are less prone to clotting, which means they can absorb and emit more oxygen and nutrients. On the other hand, in a high acidic environment, the blood cells will lose their electrical charges and start sticking together. When the blood cells stick together, they lose the flow and less oxygen is supplied to our cells. Gradually, cells become weak and they die. Thank you.